If you've ever purchased a handheld uh, ham radio, you've probably heard to go ahead and dump the stock antenna and to get yourself a high gain antenna. Uh, well, they say the high gain antennas are better than any stock antenna and there may be a little bit of truth in this, but I'd still take those uh, words with a grain of salt. Now I have here three examples of antennas here. I've got a stock and two third-party antennas. Uh, this is a stock antenna from uh, Anytone 878. Uh, it's a little bit rigid. It's about six inches or so long. Um, it's marked as a high gain antenna and for the intent and purposes this is a good antenna. In the proper conditions like pretty much an open area uh, this thing works very well. Now if you're in an area with a lot of trees, hills, mountains or a lot of buildings, your effectiveness of this antenna decreases, but that's just too true in any type of antenna, especially when you're dealing with a VHF signal. Uh, UHF is a little bit different because it can't penetrate walls. Now, the antenna that I have replaced this with, and it's my everyday antenna, is a Nagoya 701 here. Uh, it's a dual band antenna as well. The reason I replaced it, even though the functionality is pretty much the same as the stock antenna, is the, the flexibility of the antenna itself. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't bother me, doesn't poke me in the side like the stock antenna does. Uh, the only thing I have noticed though that when you sit in a low, uh, position for a while or stand in an area or lean against something, if you have a bend in this antenna for a particular, a particular period of time, uh, it will develop a curve in the antenna. You have to manually straighten it back out. But functionality, these two antennas, the stock antenna and the new oil, are just fine. Now, my third antenna, the diamond, this is a 15 inch high gain antenna. And as you can see, it's considerably longer than, uh, it's about a little over the twice the length of a stock antenna. As you can see, just about an inch, maybe a little over an inch, uh, double the length in as a stock antenna. Again, this is a high gain antenna. Uh, is it any better than the stock antennas? Well, it depends on how you use it. And so the answer is yes and no. So let's go ahead and discuss high gain antennas a little bit further. Now a high gain antenna, which is also known as a directional antenna, is an antenna with a narrow radio beam that is used to increase the signal strength. These antennas can provide more precise targeting of a radio signal and that's why they work well in long distance communications. To put it another way, gain is the taking of a radiated energy from some directions or one or more directions and then intensifying them into another direction. But are they all what they are touted to be? Yeah, maybe so. But again, their magical powers may just be part of the industry's marketing scheme. High gain antennas do not increase the power or output power of any radio at all. But they are focused antennas with the narrow radio beams allowing for precise targeting of radio signals. This antenna is used in not only space missions, but works equally well in flat open areas where the geography or other structures cannot block radio waves. Well, this has been a brief, not scientific introduction to what a high gain antenna really is and isn't. As said, these antennas do not produce power, but just simply focus the existing uh, RF frequency, or RF that is, to a desired direction. Do they work? Yes. Do you need to have one attached to your radio at all times? Well, this depends on your situation. For the most part, I would say no, but they are hap or they're handy to have around should you find yourself on the outskirts of a signal or just outside the footprint and you need to push more of your signal towards your intended target. Personally, I'd prefer to have a shorter antenna on my radio than try to manage a monster 15 inch antenna whacking me up inside the head or up under the arm. Have I used them? Yes. And do they work? Yes. But I only use it when I find it necessary. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope I have demystified the high, end, the high gain antenna somewhat. If you feel so inclined, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and that way you'll be notified of future videos. Until then, 73, this is Steve, K4SRF, 
and I hope to hear you on the airwaves.